In the 1980s, the Soviet Union began developing a large high-speed interceptor aircraft to replace their MiG-31 for tasks such as long-range high-speed patrols and interceptions. At that time, the Mikoyan Design Bureau was conducting research on the MFI-1.42, which corresponded to aircraft like the F-22 in the What the Enemy Has, We Also Have mindset. The achievements of the MFI-1.42 research were directly applied to the development of the large high-speed interceptor aircraft, which became the MiG-701. The MiG-701 incorporated many advanced technological concepts at the time, including stealth technology. It had a maximum takeoff weight of 70.58 tons and a length of 32.8 meters. The aircraft's two engines were located above the rear of the fuselage, with the air intakes on the back and the engine exhaust transitioning to a conventional structure. In the middle of the engine compartment was a trapezoidal vertical tail. The aircraft had a delta wing with a wingspan of 19.65 meters, and a pair of canards were installed near the cockpit. The front of the aircraft had a large radar installation point, followed by side-by-side -side tandem cockpits. The reason for installing the engines on the back of the aircraft was believed by some to be for stealth purposes, while others believed it was because the aircraft was too large. As a long-range interceptor, its main weapons were long-range air-to-air missiles, which could deal with high-altitude and high-speed reconnaissance aircraft, rather than relying on dogfighting. Therefore, it was necessary to have a large internal weapons bay to accommodate multiple KS-172 and other long-range air-to-air missiles. According to requirements, the aircraft was primarily intended to deal with high-speed reconnaissance aircraft like the SR-71 Blackbird, so the MiG-701 had to fly fast and high enough. Some articles mentioned that it was equipped with two turbofan engines. However, considering the technological conditions at the time, this was likely a temporary configuration, as the Soviet military required it to achieve the fastest flight speed of four to five times the speed of sound, with a cruising speed of twice the speed of sound. The aircraft had a maximum range of 11,000 kilometers without refueling, completely overcoming the short-leggedness of the MiG-31. To achieve such speeds with a large aircraft, a scramjet engine would be more feasible. As a heavy interceptor aircraft, the design concept of the MiG-701 was similar to that of the Soviet large cruisers, especially emphasizing its ability to operate independently. Its high-power radar and long-range capabilities allowed it to search for targets and launch attacks without ground command. Its maximum payload could reach up to eight long-range missiles. The development of the MiG-701 was still in the design stage, and no prototypes were produced. On one hand, the proposed technological standards were too high, and on the other hand, it was also affected by economic factors. In fact, the MiG-701 itself had many technical issues that needed to be resolved. For example, the aircraft required a certain level of stealth capability, but the Soviet Union was weaker than its competitors in this regard. Another issue was thermal protection. To solve the heat generated by friction during high-speed flight, the MiG-31 used a stainless steel fuselage, which met the requirements but greatly increased the weight. So how would the MiG-701 solve this problem? Using titanium alloy would be too expensive and impractical, considering that the MiG-701 was intended for mass service. Therefore, alternative materials had to be sought. Although the MiG-701 did not materialize, it did not completely disappear. In recent years, the Russian military has proposed the development of the MiG-41 based on the MiG-701, with preliminary results expected in the 2030s. It is intended to replace the MiG-31, 